Hello, and in this video I will show you how you can create Sora videos like this without a watermark for six times cheaper than the Sora normal module. So I will show you guys how you can actually implement this system to make UGC style videos with just one simple prompt, an image URL and you get an output URL which you can actually download and it looks something like this. I'm in love with this serum from Hood Helder. It makes my skin so clean and clear and my pimples are fading more and more. You really have to try this. Let's start with looking at what did we actually create in this NNN workflow. So what we can see here is that we have an AI Sora video test, which this was the test to make this whole thing happen. So what we actually did was we have a Google Sheet as a trigger, which is this Google spreadsheet. We have here the prompt, the image URL, and we get an output URL. The image URL is just a photo that I created with ChatGPT. Uh, so we actually put these two things into Sora and we will get an output URL. And the, the nice thing about this is that it's cheaper and you don't have the annoying watermark. So how are we building up this full workflow? Now this full workflow is actually powered by Sora too, but we do this through the key AI market. If you go to the website key.ai, you will actually see this loading screen. And from here you can access the full module. You create an account and you click on Explore AI API. And from here you will go into this models top. So from here you will see everything that is available at the moment. So we will see that we have the Halo 2.3, we have Sora 2 Pro Board, we have VO 3.1, we have the Sora 2 Pro, but also the normal Sora. The difference between these two is that this one creates videos on 1080 pixel, and this on 720 pixel. So if we actually take a click on this one, we will see that we go into the APIs from Sora 2. And from here we see the playground where we have the prompt, the aspect ratio and the frames per second. And you will see the credits change when I do a longer video, it's 35 credits, which is actually around, I think 20 cents. Yeah, 15 cents, 20 cents, something like that. So. If we take a look at the workflow that we have created here and we want to recreate this full workflow, what we do is we add a new node. So we start with the Google Sheet where we actually have the trigger on row edit trigger. Now from here you have to log in into your Google account. You do this by clicking on the pencil and actually signing on to Google, signing in. So from here you would choose your Google Sheet. In this case it's EN Sora 2 videos. So when I've clicked that one on, I need to choose the sheet, which is image to video. And if I then fetch test data, we will see we have those two free two items already in there. So from here, the next step will be the image URL manual edit. So what we do is we do a tra data transform and we do an edit field. And why do we do this? Because we will need to have this as an image URL. And this is easier because sometimes it doesn't pick it up right from the Google Sheet, so we have to actually get it in here. But the nice thing about this is that we can just fill it in here and it will actually take it over to the HTTP request. So that's what we want. Now from here we do one more because we have the video prompt, which is the edit field. And we click on add one and this is video prompt. Then we actually have to do this one before because then we can see the prompt and you just select it and get it into this field. So now you have those two. And what we do from here is making the HTTP request. And this is where the magic happens because this is where we actually create a Sora API key or connection. Now, if we go to the Sora tab, so key AI slash Sora two, and then we see the API endpoints, we have a create task and we have a query task, the get task. What we are doing now is creating the video. So we have to get the create task. And we do this by going down to the request example. This request example includes a curl. And this curl we will select copy. In this case, we do this like this. And then we will import the curl from here. Once we have imported this curl, we will see that this is all being filled in. So the method changed to post, the URL changed, the authentication is on none because you have the headers here as an authentication. 
And then you have the body, which is actually the prompt that is located in this right now. So what we need to do first is we need to connect our API key. And we do this by going back into the tab here. And then we go in the section right here and we click on API key. From here, we will see the API keys and we actually copy paste the API key, which is default. You can actually create a new one if you want, but this is what you actually do. So from here, you will just get this one away and then copy paste in your API key here. So you just copy and paste it in here with the space between. Now, once you have done that, we will actually need to fill in this thing. So what we do is we open this up as an expression because then we can do something with this prompt and the actual callback URL. We can get rid of that and we can actually have the, oh, this is the wrong one what we see. So I made a little mistake and I will show you guys what this mistake is. So we see the module type is now on Sora 2 text to video. If you want to see that video, how you can set it up, there's the other video on my YouTube channel. Subscribe and look at that video. But we have to select this one, image to video, and then we create the new curl because now we actually have the image URL, which we didn't have before. So if we go back into this and then import the curl, we do it again. Now it will change. Fill in your API key again and we will see this one changed a bit because we have the image URL and we have the prompt. Callback URL, like I said, can be, can we get rid of? So then expression, we open this up and get rid of the prompt because we have it already. So we will just delete this prompt and then go into this one, the video prompt, and then select it in between the brackets like this. And we do the same for the image URL. So what we do is we get the image URL and paste it in here. One side note is that you have to create a publicly accessible URL, image URL. And you can do that through, let's say, this console.cloudinary.com. Uh, you can just upload the picture and then you have the actual URL which you can fill in there. So if I now have copied it and the paste it, it's the same URL. So that's publicly available. If I do it like this, it's immediately here. So that's what we actually need to do. And if you paste it in here, you will have the full uh, thing ready, which in this case, there's a little fault error in it because we have the landscape on here, but we need to have the portrait. So the most easy way is to just copy paste this code. I will set it in the description down below and then open this one up and then actually remove this like so. And now we have the full HTTP ready. Now from here, we have to create the wait step because we will need to get it when it's done, but it takes a couple of minutes to get done. So how can we see how long it takes? We can see that by going into the logs in here. So we will see the logs if we click on it we see that we have the videos here and how long it really took. 157 seconds, so that is like uh, almost three minutes and sometimes takes a little bit longer. What I do is I put this one on six minutes, just to be sure, because it will run automatically when you put something in here, because it checks it every minute, you just can set it on six minutes and wait for the results to come back and you can get a coffee or do something else. Um, then we have to get the video out of Sora. So I will just put in here the wait step. You do this by adding the plus and then wait. Set this one on six and this one on minutes. Now you have that ready. Then we have to get the Sora video. So what do we do? We go to HTTP request. And then from here we have to curl again. What we do again is we go to the key.ai Sora, module Sora to image to video. We go back up and we see the get task. Now from here, we see the request example. We just copy that one and then import curl like so. What we see now is that we have the value task. Now this we can actually only get when we have done the full workflow. And then we can just get it like this and get it into here. And as you can see, it is just this JSON code. It should be the same if you just get it into here. So if you just this, like an expression, 
it should work. So that's also something you can do. And here you have to again put in your API key. Uh, then you have this full get video, which actually should work if you have put this one in and your API key. Now, from here, we have the last step before we have the final step, which is the manual mapping of the uh, video URL, the output URL. And we do this by also running this one fully once, because then you can just get this result and just get it into this string. But from here we have this code. So you can just copy paste this code and then it should work. And the last step is the sheets and then append or update new row in sheet, which you actually take the sheet again. So Sora two videos, and then you take the image to video sheet like so, then you have one column to match on. And this is in this case the prompt because we will match it on the prompt. And then you get this code, which actually works by uh, just putting it in from the left to the right, if you have run it once. So then you can just fill it in. For now we have it like this. I want to have it on expression, but it doesn't get it there. So you have to set it on expression. Not that one, but this one uh, doesn't work. So I will take this one longer expression. Now you see it will be red now because I don't have previous input. So that's kind of normal. And then the output URL is also the previous one. So this is just a JSON code from this field, in this case, this field. So if you also set this one up as an expression, you have the full workflow ready. And this is actually how you can create UTC style videos. So we have now rebuilt this full workflow. So I can just delete this because I already built it. Otherwise it will be double. And I will show you guys now one example of how it will run in this full workflow. Uh, and I will come back to you when it's finished. So I made a new prompt, which is actually a little bit different. So a blonde woman sitting in a car instead of a brunette woman sitting in a bathroom. And now this will just run in a minute and then we will see the results once it's done. As we see, it should start running. So it actually started running uh, just a second ago. And we will see the first three steps actually run smoothly, or the fourth steps. And we can see here that it will get some data now. And it's waiting six minutes for the model to run. And if we then go into Key AI and check again to the logs, we see one is actually running, which is just a minute ago. So this one will be the video that is created with a blonde woman sitting in a car recording the same UG Styles she styles video. So now we have to just wait six minutes. So I will get a coffee. Uh, yeah, I will just pause this video. So we will jump right over when it's done and I will show you the end result. In the meantime, while we wait, why didn't you check out my school community yet? That was my first question. Because in the school community, we will actually learn you how to create this type of automations yourself and how to implement them into businesses or your own business. So you can actually make some money with it or you can implement it for yourself to get more out of your business. So the price will remain $27 for now, but after 500 members, we will increase the price to $47. Also this full workflow will be there. So you can just import it from file and then just go plug and play with this type of automation, AI agent, and more. So after a few minutes of runtime, it's actually done. It created this full working video in four minutes. And if we look at the spreadsheet, ah, we will see the actual output URL is done. And if we click on this, we will see the download starting. And if I just open this one up, it is this one. I'm honestly in love with this serum from Huit Helder. It makes my skin so clean and clear and my pimples are fading more and more. So this one actually worked, which is fine. And it looks nice. So what we can conclude is that we can have this full working running AI agent within 15 minutes of time. And we can actually 10x our output for UGC style created ads. If you enjoyed this video, you should just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also join my school community if you like because a lot of people will learn how to create this kind of stuff and more in there and I will see you on to the next video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.